Have you ever opened up a file and just you've, you've, you've been working through it, maybe you've just come back from holidays, maybe you're starting on a project for the first time, um, whatnot, and you're going through a file and you just come to this section and you're a bit stumped, you just don't know why it's there. You know, say for example, these, uh, what have we got, about 10 lines there. Um, these ones are actually logical, I know what they're about, but let's just assume that they stand out because it just seems like you they shouldn't be there. It doesn't make sense within the context of the rest of the file, which happened to me on more than one occasion. Um, so maybe you're wondering, did you make the change? Did someone else make the change? Perhaps more importantly, why was the change made? Because maybe it's logical. Maybe there's a perfectly good reason, but you've forgotten. Or maybe the person you're taking over from didn't communicate that. So you want to look through the history for that particular set of lines within the context of this file. Well, it's pretty cool within PHP Storm, and what I'm going to show you right now is how to do that. So, I guess start my little demo over again. You make the selection of the lines that you want to look at the history of. Then right click on it or two finger tap here on the Mac, come down to Git, come up to show history for selection, not show history, not show current revision, show history for selection. Then that opens up the history for selection window and starts on the most recent change, whether committed or only in local history. Then you can see here going backwards through to the first commit, you can see the changes for that file, sorry, and you can see the changes for that set of lines. As with a standard commit history, particularly in PHP Storm, you can see the commit ID, the date and time of when the change was made, the author, and the commit message. So not that update talk dates was really the most effective commit message, but by the by, something for the future. Um, as you step through it, you can then see the history of that selection. So you can see that I put them in. And then I have commented out one of them. If memory serves correctly, I was actually going to give that talk, but then the talk didn't come to pass. And then here I've fully removed the item, at least in local changes. And that's a quick way of viewing the changes or viewing the history for a selection of a file in PHP Storm. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, okay, give it a thumbs down. Either way, it'd be cool if you left a comment, uh, if this is something new for you, if you've done it before, if there's something that you'd like to contribute. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel. That way you find out when new videos come out. And if you want to know anything more about what I've covered in this short video, check out the show notes. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.